I'd like to take advantage of this sunny day to talk a little bit more about the off-grid solar uh, system we have set up here. The panels you can see over there on the top of the outbuilding. Um, we'll go over there right now and have a closer look. Here's the outbuilding that we were looking at earlier. You can just see the panels on the roof up here. They're slightly angled and, and of course the sun is coming down from this direction right now so the angling is perfect and that's why you know along with the fact that there's no clouds today you're probably going to be getting the maximum amount of, of electricity out of your panels on a day just like this. Let's go up the ladder here and we'll take a look at the panels. Alright, what you see are uh, four groups, actually five, one, two, three, four, five, and each group has four solar panels bunched together. And uh, these are about 14 years old, and they could certainly use a cleaning right now, but they still work just fine. If you see here, um, each of the groups has got uh, cabling coming off over to the junction box over there and then from the junction box uh, the electricity that's gathered goes down into the outbuilding where it uh, it'll meet an inverter and be converted into AC power. Uh, we'll go down there in a minute. Here you can see over here the sun it's kinda hard to tell because it's so bright. It's right up here and then facing the sun are the panels. That's a perfect arrangement and unfortunately for much of the year you don't get that kind of perfection. This being the tropics that we're in, for part of the year the sun actually goes from being this direction to coming from this direction. And of course that uh, reduces your power from the panels and also that's, that coincides with the rainy season, so you have a, a whole lot of clouds every day. So during the rainy season, uh, you're, here in Hawaii at least, you're going to wind up running the generator a lot. If you look down here, it looks like a chicken was had a nest there at one time and left some eggs. And I can even see a few weeds sprouting. It's, Definitely needs a cleaning in there. Now let's go inside the outbuilding. All right, here's where the power comes in from the roof. And it comes down into this junction box here. And right away there's a on off master circuit breaker and that'll that'll trigger off if, if we draw too much power from inside the house and then I, we have a charge controller uh, over here maybe you can see keeping track of the voltages and then this is the inverter this is what actually changes the DC power from the solar panels into AC power for the house. And then over here some circuit breakers and other equipment. And down here we have our storage batteries. This is where you store the excess power um, because after all uh, you need power at nighttime. And at night of course your electricity and the electricity to run the refrigerator and all your appliances comes from this battery pack and the batteries are powered up and they, they get juiced up during the day ideally when the sun is shining because the sun is so strong right now you can hear these batteries uh, gurgling and hissing as they're outgassing a little bit and no they don't look really great these batteries are many years old they are definitely past their prime 
But if you just listen here for a minute, you can actually hear them. Anyway, so the power from the roof comes here to the batteries and then from the batteries is where it will come up to the inverter and be changed into AC power for the house. And then, of course, the power will come into the house at some point and that's what that junction box over there is for. At this point, when the electricity is actually going into your house, it's pretty much identical. Uh, the electrical system at this point is identical to any other house, off-grid or on-grid, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's typical AC electricity now coming into the house. Now, of course, it's not always sunny so you've got to have a backup whenever you have solar off-grid you have to have a backup and uh, that's what this is this is a house generator so uh, hold on here so at nighttime if we're low on power or if it's been cloudy for a few hours we'll come out here and, and start this up going to run it right now because it's sunny outside or it was sunny about 10 minutes ago I told you what a sunny day it was but now look that's that's called living in Hawaii it goes from a sunny day to a cloudy day in about 10 minutes anyway that's the solar setup now if we go inside and we we turn on some lights or look at something a uh, refrigerator or something like that. They all run the, the way they do in everybody else's house, you know, on or off the off the grid. The difference is the power that's that's uh, being used to run everything originally comes from the sunshine. Okay, this is what I think is so ironic. You've got the hot sun, and you have this cold ice, I'm not sure if you can see that, from the refrigerator, from the freezer, and the power that froze that ice was, of course, the power from the sun. So, uh... You can do many things with solar power, including make ice. <laughs> anything, that, anything that requires power can be done with solar. But it does have its drawbacks, number one being cloudy days. Anyway, 